What's happening, fam? LA All Movement still moving. Um, subscribe with that trying. You see the thumbnail. Just have a problem giving basic respect. So this is the reporter that that Deion Sanders, aka Coach Prime or Coach Sanders, or you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, he asked the reporter, you know, just don't call him Dion, you know what I'm saying? In a sense, call him coach, I guess, Coach Prime, or you know, like everybody else, in because of the position, because of the title. And the guy immediately, he got upset about that. He said, Dion. And then, you know, he got up. And Prime got up. He smiled, got up, and just walked off. And I get what he was, you know, it's setting the precedence. And then, and I saw, it's not Scott Van Pelt. Dang it. But it's another guy who does, um, I think maybe Rich Eisen. Um, he was like, you know, he was upset about it. He's like, it's, it's, it's petty, but I'm never going to call him um, coach. I'm going to call him Dion from now on. And it's like, this is a problem. Because giving a person their due respect when they say, look, don't do that. It's been an ongoing problem in America as far as, um, as, far as racially. Let's just keep it a buck, right? And... People are saying, oh, well, you know, these are little bitty issues, and so we can overlook that. And I get that. I absolutely get that. But the problem with, with that also is we don't talk about microaggressions and how, you know, when you're not white, when you're black in this country, there are a lot of people who, who do these microaggressions to, to gnaw at a, a lot of hyenas who like gnawing at lions for attention. So at this particular point, it's at, it's, it's, I, we don't expect, you know, other groups in America to be respectful off top. Like we don't expect respect to be given off top. We, we expect disrespect to be given off top because that's what the norm is. So now when people say, look, I'm, you're not going to disrespect me. And then people are like, well, I'm not really disrespecting you. This is how I talk to other people. And it's like, I, maybe that is true for you. But unfortunately, your, just like my group precedes me and all your negative stereotypes, your group precedes you and all with all of their negative stereotypes. So, and that, that negative stereotype is being overtly, just, just being condescending, sarcastic, and disrespectful as a norm. Being antagonizing as a norm. You know, and you see it time and time and time again. And some people are like, well, you know, you can't say people have the victim narrative. And then when people say, look, I'm setting boundaries. And then you go, huh, you have an issue with them setting boundaries. You want to be called coach? Call him coach. You, you, you're talking to him about football, so call him coach. What's the big deal with that? But the other thing is, if you see a bunch of, you know, and, and when you see a bunch of people actually respecting a person, especially when it comes to black men, you see other people respect their black men, their black man, it's, 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 all, it's, it's, it's just like breathing or drinking water. Somebody who's not black is going to come in there to, to slight or disrespect the guy. It, it's just, it's an automatic thing. And when people go, look, I ain't having it. I'm done with it. And and it's like, well, you know, what's his problem? What's what's the problem with how I'm talking to you? What's the problem with how I'm approaching you? What's the problem with, you know, my 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 antagonizing you? You're just supposed to take it. And that's what happens with the you're just supposed to take it mentality when people are like, no, nah, I'm not. Actually I'm not. You know, you should know better than that. And I get, you know, you know, um, Prime said basically, you know, you wouldn't do Nick Saban like that. And he said, yes, I would. I call him Nick. It, that might be absolutely true, but you've known him for a while. See what I'm saying? Like that that level of maybe you do call Nick Saban Nick, but that's when you know him and he's comfortable with you calling him Nick. You're not just gonna walk up on him and call him, "What's up, Nick?" Just on a human level, I don't know you. 
you know, call me Coach Saban. Call me Mr. Saban. It's just 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 with an elderly thing. That that's the the um what I mean, you know, the disrespect that's built into the culture. That's the this what I'm talking about is the evolution of um calling grown black men boy in public. You know, just calling boy all the time. And you know, come here boy and having kids call a grown man boy. And you know, now as kids and the the boy thing doesn't happen, but this subtle disrespect always keeps up. And it's like, oh, okay. Don't worry about it. I don't I don't want to talk to you about this. I don't need to be in your presence about that. I don't want to be around you about that. I'm done with it. And that part is was you you see people get angry about that. They get indignant about how are you not going to let me disrespect you? And the, and the thing I talked about in another video was it's because of the of the, of the camera and everything, tech, the, the information age and the technology age, where you can see people doing this on a constant basis and you see people co-signing it on a constant basis. What's next is we're going to go back to the 80s and 90s when y'all just going to start getting knocked out. That's what's going to happen. Because... You know, you, you, you see the videos, you know, um, and I'm not talking about it, but the video of the police officer throwing the drugs in the backseat of the guy's car while he's while he's filming the cop and the cop oh, you want to search the car then? That's, that's the district. Like, that happens in every occupation. You know what I'm saying? So now it's all videoed. It's all on tape. It's like, all right. And, and people can know the backstory. You know, when people say, I don't know what's in people's hearts and I don't know their intentions and I don't know the context, even the context is on camera now. That, that, that precedes the incident. So the basic disrespect, being uncomfortable, giving people basic, black men in particular, basic respect. It's like, okay, since you don't understand it as a human, we'll beat it into you. We're going we gonna to get it there. You know. But like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Catch y'all on the next one. And the picture is the reporter who, who did it, obviously. But peace. Oh, by the way, the, all the other people, the reporters were black. So this guy was white. So all the other reporters that were black were respectful. It just happened to be the white one that just didn't, wasn't feeling it. Anyway, peace.